Hello everyone, let's discuss debentures now. And debentures are like a form of loan that a business takes, but the difference is that in this situation, this loan is being obtained from interested investors rather than asking directly from a bank. And that's the main difference. So anyone who's an investor, people like you and I, if you want to invest in a company, we can do that by buying debentures issued by a company. Now, what is a debenture? A debenture is a form of debt finance. Okay, Debt finance are those things which require to be paid back and have an element of interest associated with it. So in this scenario, what happens is a debenture is a sort of a loan taken by investors and in return, the company is paying those investors interest uh, from the profit in return for the money they have lent to the company. That's how a debenture works. So let me just show you a little bit about how the how, how a particular debenture is structured. And let me explain that through an example. And let's assume that a company requires to raise $10 million. Okay. Now, I will pose a question here to you guys. Now, would it be easier for a company to get the entire amount of $10 million from one person? Or would it be smarter to get it from one person or getting 1 million from 10 different people. What would be a more risk-free strategy? I'm sure you will conclude that taking a million dollars for 10 different people is less risky as compared to taking the entire amount from one. Because think about it, if that one in investor with the entire 10 million decides to take all his money out, then the company needs to pay the entire amount right away. Compare that to 1 million divided between 10 people means even if two people withdraw their million dollars, then you still left with 8 million at the end of the day. So it's always advisable for a company to divide that million into maybe 10 different portions, which means that you have a million dollars worth each of a debenture. And that's how the early structuring, the basic structuring of debenture works, that what is the worth of each piece of debenture. And in this example, if you can see, we divided up the 10 million into 10 debentures of 1 million each. Now, what does a debenture look like? A debenture will have four pieces of information on it. It's like a piece of paper that you get in return for the money and it will contain these four things. Of course, the name of the company is going to be there. So we're going to assume that's ABC company. And the first thing that it will state is the amount of the debenture. So 1 million, though if I pay 1 million in return, I get this promissory note which says that I have lent $1 million to the company. Secondly, it will include its maturity. So how long will the company take that amount of money from the investors? The, the answer is for 10 years, that money will be borrowed. Thirdly, and this is what the investors are interested in, what is going to be their profit percentage? And in this case, we can see that the company has agreed to pay 5% per annum on a 1 million investment. And also, they will indicate how many times or how many proportions will this profit be divided in. And that will come in the form of frequency. Now, when you see quarterly uh, written here, it simply means that the same 5% whatever that amount is, will be distributed across the year in four equally equal quarterly tranches. Let me explain what that means here. Let's say we know that it's a $1 million debenture. You have it for 10 years and every year you get 5% of $1 million. So when I work it out, 1 million, 5% is $50,000. That's how much interest a company is ready to pay any investor who's willing to pay $1 million to buy this debenture. And since the company had already mentioned that this debenture amount, whatever the profit is, $50,000, is going to be distributed quarterly, then this whole amount will be divided into four equal parts, which means that at every quarter, the company is going to give these investors $12,000 five hundred dollars each quarter and then divide by four we mean that every year they will make fifty thousand which is five percent 
on a million. Now, if I continue to do that for 10 years, that means if I multiply this by 10, I will end up making half a million dollars, $500,000 on a $1 million investment. So that's a 50% return over 10 years when you invest 1 million in a company at a rate of 5% per annum to be paid out quarterly. Okay, so simple structure where the business raises the amount, keeps paying the interest as profit to the investors, and once the 10 year maturity period is done, then the entire 1 million amount is paid back to the investors who had given you the money 10 years earlier. That's how a debenture works. Now, just one little extra point on top of that is that you don't have to wait the entire 10 years to encash it. You can trade it just like stock markets have a trade. These bonds also have a stock exchange sort of a place where they can trade, they can buy and sell these debentures as well. But from a business's perspective, just remember, it's a great way to raise large sums of capital through the means of debenture. So I just wanted to conclude by highlighting some of the benefits of using debenture as a source of finance. And the first of those is that there is no right of ownership being given up by the owners. So when we'll discuss selling shares in our next video, you will see that whenever a share is sold, new owners enter the business, which means the decision-making power ownership keeps getting diluted or simply getting divided amongst more and more people. However, when you take when you sell a debenture, there is no ownership being shared with anyone. So you keep all the profits to yourself once the debenture is paid off. Secondly, these are usually redeemed at their maturity time. So we saw in our example earlier that 10 years was the maturity period of that debenture. And usually people hold on to those uh, debenture for that amount of time because they are guaranteed a percentage of interest for as long as they hold on to that debenture. So the company has some guarantee that the finance is going to remain with them for the foreseeable future. Also, since as I explained in the last slide as well, that the buyers or the investors have the option of selling those, in cashing those debentures to other investors and then taking their money out and using it for any other investment they may feel. Or they can ask a company to convert their debentures into shares. That's also something that some companies are happy to offer because in that situation, the company does not have to worry about repaying the amount. The amount is simply converted into shares, which the investors will get dividends for. So things to include whenever you have to discuss debentures, but all in all, it's one of the sources of debt finance.